Today on Cravings Food Adventures, we're making coconut creme brulee. Creme brulee is one of those desserts that seem really difficult and very technical. It is technical, but really easy to make once you've mastered it. Cream is simmered and poured into an egg yolk and sugar mixture, and this custard is baked in an oven. It's then chilled and covered with sugar and brulee and it is one of the most heavenly desserts you've ever had. This coconut creme brulee version is not only just a tropical twist, it's also a great recipe for many people that are lactose intolerant. I've invested in these little mason jars, they are perfect for this recipe. After my creme brulees are set, I can put a lid on them and put them in my refrigerator and I can stack them up. Now, if you don't have these mason jars, you can use regular ramekins. You're also going to need to invest in a blowtorch. Now, this blowtorch is kitchen friendly and it's really simple to use. Let's start by making the custard. I've got four gorgeous egg yolks. And to that, I'm going to add a whole egg. Now, this is just going to give an additional silkiness to the custard. I'm going to add half a cup of sugar and I'm going to whisk it together. When I was developing this recipe, I was looking for the perfect consistency of coconut milk. But what I found was coconut cream that is rich and delicious. And it's a perfect substitute for regular cream. Now, I'm going to measure out two cups of this cream and I'm going to add it to a saucepan and I'm going to bring it to a simmer. Once my cream has come to a simmer, you're going to see tiny little bubbles just on the surface of the cream. And this means it's ready to be gently added to the egg and sugar mixture. This process is called tempering. You have to add it just a little bit at the time and keep whisking as you go. If you add all of the hot cream too quickly, your eggs will curdle and you certainly don't want that. I've been very patient and I've added all of my cream in slow intervals to my egg and sugar mixture. And now I'm going to strain it. This just ensures that you don't get any little bits of egg or shell when you're eating your brulee. I'm now going to pour my mixture into my little ramekins and when it gets into the oven, I'm going to pour in some boiling hot water. I'm creating a water bath so that my creme brulees can cook to perfection. I'm going to cook this for at least 30 minutes and you'll know it's done when it's slightly jiggly but not watery. I'm going to take these out of my oven and I'm going to cool them. I'm going to cover them and put them in the fridge. Now you need to let these chill anywhere from four hours to overnight. Once you're ready to serve this dessert to your guests, all you need to do is add about a teaspoon of sugar to the top and using your brulee torch, you can go around and make sure that that sugar is nice and caramelized. And when you bite into it, you should hear that crack and then that beautiful, delicious cold cream underneath. It really is heaven. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I do. And make sure you come back for more. I upload new videos every Friday. And this video is part of a very special holiday edition, the 12 days of Christmas, where I have 12 recipes to get you through the holiday season. So make sure you're clicking on all of those links. Thank you so much and happy holidays from Craving Food Adventures.